Good morning. That's us out again. I'm out with Tom. He's all there doing a wee bit of filming. And as you might have guessed, we are up in Glenfinnan. We're up to do the two Monroes up here as part of the Glenfinnan horseshoe. So it's 25 past 8 in the morning. It's actually pretty nice, dry, pretty clear. So it's forecast for some showers scattered throughout the day, so here's hoping it's nothing too heavy and we've got a nice day. So it's been a wee while for we've been out together to get a couple of Monroes, so we're looking forward to it. Should be a good one, fingers crossed. Have a Could you have a look around the body there? But there's, there's somebody actually lying sleeping. A couple of campers here as well, so we're just gonna head on. Sun's starting to come up, it's starting to heat up pretty good. So, one result. Hi, ten past nine. That's us cycle down as far as we can go with the bikes, so we care marker there. That's the path we'll come down off the second Monroe, Skurn and Koryakin. And we are heading up along this way. See the still in the clag a wee bit of the tops and that, but not too bad. It is still roasting. It is really warm. Um, so we're just hoping the, the dark clouds and the showers stay away. Log in. Um, so you cross the bridge here and you go to the right, following the path up run. But we actually missed the wee cut off point and we're walking up here. Should have cut off down there as well. <laughs> it's marked as well, we're just too busy blathering. So, just bear that in mind, you're cutting off there and heading up in this direction. I were away wandering up that good track, blaring away, and the next thing the GPS was bleeding, but it's no other off track. Worth its weight in gold. Anyway, now the fun begins. Hi, that's us 600 metres up. It is hot, hot, hot. It's not a blazing sun, but you can feel it coming through the cloud. It is clammy. Um, so, we're heading up this direction, obviously. Another 300 metres to go. That is the second window over there in the clag. Not sure whether that's the top or it's, it's in here. I think it's actually in behind. Um, Cracking views down the glen. All the way back down to the Glenfinnan Viaduct. Superb. Alright, Tom. Oh good. Right water. Right water. <laughs> Rehydrate. Aye, so all good.
Hello. This is us just heading up towards the summit here. I've got 40 to go now. We're in the clag as you can see. Um bumped into John for Cumbernault here. They've started just behind us. So just gonna a wee chin wag on the way up. He actually <laughs> see they recognise this for the YouTube videos. So feel my last eh? <laughs> so we're getting there. As I was looking back to the first Monroe Skirt Dome, really nice and cracking view there, craggy side there. I say you could go that way, it'd be interesting, but certainly a challenge. So we've just come down half it, you break right, follow the fence posts, and we're heading up in this direction. Um, we just ended up where I mean, blather and wake John, so just all walking together. It's like a nice guy, good company. So the clag was starting to clear for the tops here, so hopefully we can get some views once we go up this side. Anyway, onward and upward. Hello. So we're making progress. Heading up this direction, what we're way around. And I think the Monroe is actually in the Clag, the second Monroe. Clag's kind of coming and going one minute, you've got a view the next day, haven't you? Sort of a light rain there. It was actually on the new, just spitting. Yeah, still pretty warm. Crying views looking back to the first one, Skirt Dome now. You can see the route we've We've come down, following the fence posts, all the way up here. See some stunning views, it comes and goes and that. I see the uh, what they can annoy that area. Some great views now, it's clear a bit. Skirt Dome, that's the first one, just a wee bit in the clag. Then centre for the pitch up, see a wee down to Glenfin and Viaduct. And then run on to the ridge there. Our second window is still in the clag there. But it's trying its best to clear, so fingers crossed the time we got up there. We are getting views, but which is good. Still pretty warm. Not bad view. So all the tops here are all just in the clag in them there. It's actually quite cool. Stunning. Just bloody mountain after mountain for as far as I can see. <laughs> you alright son? <laughs> Hello, oh, this is what we've got left to go up here, to the summit of St. Glen. Clag's rolled off the top, hopefully it stays that way. These are opening up. The way back round the first one, square dome in the distance, just in the clag at the top there. Four bodies on top of that wee bit there. So 
so see you at the top. What a beautiful sight that is. So it's heading to some of the second one. Yeah. Pretty hard going. Hey, yeah, beauty. Just in time for a clag rolling. Hey, that's us just on the second one row. Six hours, 30 minutes to get to the second one. That's the to care not we are. So, in the clag, as you can see, predictable. So, <laughs> we are now trying to make our way down out of the clag, see if we get any views and possibly stick a drone up. But that wasn't too bad, the second one. It was a bit cooler. First one it was roasting. So, that's us, let's see. Make our way off along the ridge here and drop down. That's us just managed to negotiate our way along the ridge and down here to the second window. Pretty tricky coming down there. Yeah. Typical, as soon as you come down it looks as though the clags rolled off the top. Couldn't make it up. Kinda of dodgy thing, eh? Long way down there. I was thinking of going all down stone for a photo, but I bottled it. <laughs> Maybe next time, eh? Come run for a look. Ooh. Yeah, pass. <laughs> Hello. So, when we've, we've came up over that, that slabby bit there, there is a, a cairn and there's a very faint path. Heading down this direction, the White Tamas. We had a loop round there, and my god, talk about steep. So I'm hoping this is the, the right path. It's, it's no, it will be steep, but hopefully, not as bad. Aye, bingo. Some cracking views right down the glen there. You'll be able to pick it up on the GoPro, but you can actually see the the monument uh, away in the distance here. Hello, it's quarter to five. It's been on the go for eight and a half hours now. We are getting there. So this is a bridge we crossed over. You start heading up the first one, so you, you're swinging round to the, the right, but straight away there's a cut off to the left, up the hill there. And we actually kept <laughs> we kept walking a good path there, 
We just need to be get around the corners. The, the two GPSs were alarming. We realised we had to get back on track. But it's been a really good day. Um, the weather's held up. A wee bit claggy at the tops, unfortunately. But we, we got views on the ridge and then a wee bit further down. Still well worth it. It is red tote in the glen now. Absolutely roasting. So, we're just circumnavigating round the boat with us, the foot of this hill. And that's going to lead us back down to the, where we dumped the bikes. And we'll get the cycle out, but we're racing against time because I, Tam reckons they shut the gates at six o'clock when you've all locked in the car park. So, we get down to these bikes, we better get our backsides moving. Get that for a view. Superb. Oh, what a beautiful sight. <laughs> Hallelujah. A three one three six up on this time. Oh, the view there. No oh, bad view back down the glen the way we're going to. So, as Dan was saying there, 7 hours 40 minutes to get back to the bike, so... Hopefully, an hour, maybe under, and we're back out. You ask. So we don't get locked in this car park all night. <laughs> right, anyway, I'll bring you back later. I think we can get a real look at the bottom this time. Hopefully, I'll need the inside. Can I help? <gasps> can I help you, son? Yeah, yeah. It's a bad man. <laughs> Damn soon, like it, another one. Relax. Uh oh, there may be trouble ahead. Yeah. Thank you. 